All right, all right. We have Ark up in LC right now. This is the s semi limited <laughs> hero festival hero. I mean, they want you to think they're kind of limited, but not really. This hero will be in the game. He kind of looks like a Final Fantasy character to me, just IMO. I don't know. He's just got that twang about him. But uh, he is a Last Claudia hero, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure if I am, I'll, I'll be corrected on that. Either way, uh, he actually has some decent looking trait stuff. I did already see that he's going to be a competent breaker. I just kind of want to see what his abilities actually look like. I kind of wish they would have done something with Atomic Thunder. I keep looking for specials that actually have some kind of special to them, some kind of special effects, you know, ignore 20% thunder resistance, something, something to actually make it special. Uh, and then, let's see, as far as abilities go, from what I'm seeing so far, the S1 and S2 both have a dash in them, so that's nice. You're going to use those to get him into combat, and then the S3 is going to be a bomb to drop. Um, so he's got travel built into his kit, and he's got some airborne. He can airborne enemies after hitting them with uh, the S1, right? Thunder combo attack that sends enemies flying. So maybe he could bank off of some uh, airborne damage, which is always nice, especially for arenas and stuff. Uh, the traits, uh, we have Zard damage 30 percent oh by the way he is a dragon type so that's interesting um damage 30 percent for zard damage cap 40,000. enemies are more likely to faint that's really nice actually and break 200 percent that's really nice actually straight up the enemies more likely to faint and the break uh every 10 seconds restore hit points 10 percent and chance to heal one random basic status ailment that's really nice zard is pretty damn dope uh, and then we have your Drake Descent. Um, physical attack damage taken minus 40%. When very close, when close to death, or when special activates, very greatly restore hit points and give the unit the Draconic Factor buff. Hit point recovery cap 30,000. When close to death, only once per wave, Draconic Factor buff activates. Skill damage plus 30% and damage cap 50,000 more. Boost movement speed, and here's the best part, won't flinch from physical attacks. That's dope. I will take that. That is very usable. Um, you know, as long as it's not a bunch of magic jacking you up, um, th this guy will not flinch from physical attacks. Which is cool, because then it doesn't matter what element those physical attacks are. There are plenty of heroes that won't flinch from this element or that element, it won't matter what element it is, as long as it's physical, he won't flinch from it when he's in his draconic form. Uh, we also see he has one hell of a charisma. Yo, it is a high charisma. So, yeah, all allies, anti-type damage plus 20%, damage cap 2000, and anti-type attack damage taken minus 25%. Uh, yeah, that is absolutely awesome for charisma it really plays off of killers and slayers and all of that stuff and he does have like an ogre super slayer he has dragon mastery when unit has dragon type give physical and magical attack special counter an anti-god type effect damage from gods taken minus 10 percent and special damage plus 20 percent that's a whole lot of yum yum right there that's awesome we have the anti-type boost in here already uh He's got a bunch of the Thunder stuff, favorite sword, the two-hander stuff for having a big gnarly sword, of course. Some armor hit point up too. This is nice because it's actually 15%, so that one's not bad. And the special boost is a high special boost. That's what, five or six? I think it's five. 30% and damage cap 5k. I'll take the special damage 30%. That's awesome. Uh, we have Celestial Mass already in the kit. That's very nice. I dig that. I really like Celestial Mass. She's putting her MP to use. Uh, breaker, one bladed Breaker 3. Limit Breaker. Damage 50% when unit puts enemy into break. Boost physical attack damage. 9,000 at 3 times. And we have the Bladed Breaker 3. When only one weapon is equipped, physical attack break 200%. He's got another 200% in his freaking trait, so he's at 400 already, 
plus breaker boost break level, you know, limit break, giant killing five, skill and special damage boss 20% and the 5,000 cap, and ambition when physically attacking enemies with more hit points than the unit, physical attack damage plus 20%, so that's cool. We have draconic pride, continuous grand brave critical effect, boss wave, strength 50% more, and actually that's really nice. Uh, just having 50% more strength. The dragons typically have really high strengths uh, in LC, as they should, right? Um, we have an earth dragon hero that's kind of a kamikaze bomb. He's pretty cool. Um, and then this guy, I mean, he could run with him in a dragon party, and that's pretty dope. Uh, let's see. We have some pretty good stuff in here. Apex... Origin, give physical attack, special anti-brute type effect. When defeating a brute type enemy, special gauge 10% and special damage 30% and damage cap 50,000 more. 50,000 more is nice to the damage cap. So that's very dope. This is like a super slayer, right? Um, for And it covers brute. Brute is a bunch of them. It's beast, bird. Uh, yeah, it's... It, it's really nice. Uh, and then we have, what, Dragon Arm. Hit points 25%. Skill 3 damage cap 8,000. Draconic Factor buff active. Damage cap 24,000 instead. That's nice. From 8 to 24,000. And hit points 25%. That's dope. Right? We have Deadly Brawler. This is interesting. Attack evasion effects won't activate, but when physically attacking, enemy defense minus 20% and deal damage, chance to break enemy guard. That's a whole lot of good stuff in one little package right there, especially with the chance to break enemy guard. Uh, the defense minus 20, that's dope, right? But as a result, you're not going to be using evasion for this guy, I guess, unless you want to turn this off. That's the way I'm reading it. I will definitely take that. That looks pretty cool. Um... What else do we have here? Now we are in the Transcend Abilities uh, Skill LB, right? And it's going to be 15,000 more damage when you are uh, single wielding a sword. Do, do, do. Special gauge plus 30% on the boss wave. That's pretty cool, right? Again, I wish the special actually had some sort of effect. Uh, Transcend sword, sword Mastery, Sword Equip. Physical attack damage 10%, damage cap 5k when only weapon equipped is one sword. It's 10k instead. Awesome. So, uh, some better E6 abilities here. And Transcend Breaker. Yep, I was ex anticipating this. Break 50% more when equipped with only one weapon or no weapon. And break 100% more instead. So, he's at 500% to his break already without anything added to him. Oh, and what's that? Transcend Break Mastery. Here's another one. Damage cap to enemies in break. Another 20,000 more. When equipped with only one weapon or no weapons, damage cap 40,000 instead. Yep, that's 40,000. When unit puts an enemy into break, restore one SCT stock of all skills. So after I break you, I get to throw an S1, S2, and S3 at you, and hopefully a special right <laughs> uh so that's cool um very nice and of course transcend anti-type boost anti-type damage 20 percent and damage cap 3000 i dig that i like i like the uh the transcend abilities that this one got so uh it's gonna be a strong hero we we will see let's take a look at his arc real quick uh, this is just an SSR arc. It's gonna be around folks. Don't don't trip over this boost physical attack damage cut physical attack damage taken Based on number of living dragon type allies. Okay, makes sense make a dragon party Max damage plus 20% and damage taken minus 20% Whenever Zell is acquired Restore hit points 10% that's interesting kind of after battle enemies all drops plus 35% not stackable battle start give a physical attack damage plus 35% buff to ally with the highest strength excluding this unit interesting um, anti-type breakthrough looks really interesting though 
Anti-type damage cap, okay. When only one weapon is equipped, damage cap, 2k instead. Okay, cool. So, um, and then two-handed claw, beast geyser, insect shield, okay. But give magic an anti-beast type effect. That's interesting for 8SC. We'll take that. Uh, some dragon mimicry, blind mill, insect shield. Insect shield's not bad. It's like something that you're going to want to have around. It's going to be around. Very cool. Uh, I'll definitely take the anti-type breakthrough. That's cool for another 5SC. Uh, oh, yeah. What do we got here? A bow. Gazdra. Gazdra the bow. Skill damage to brute types plus 20% and crit rate plus 3%. Fire, bow, 273 strength, 25 MP. That's pretty dope. That really is to brute types. It's, yeah, that's right. Not beast, brute. Brute covers quite a few types, so I dig that. That's really cool, right? And he has that charisma that affects anti-type damage too. Um... I dig that. I dig that. He is cool. He is cool. We'll have to see how he actually... By the way, it looks like LC got like a complete upgrade here. And I took too long. It reset. <laughs> oh, snap. I could have got a daily in and I didn't, yo. Yeah, actually, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Maybe throw some free lapis at it. Um... Because this is an unlimited hero. He will be in the game. Save for collabs, folks. Everybody save for collabs. It's just the smartest thing to do. This is a nice addition to the game, though. The character looks cool. Um, I'll definitely take the stuff from the arc, right? We get all of these. So that's cool. Uh, everybody should have some lapis to throw around. Uh, doo -doo -doo. What am I looking for here? banners so here he is arc looks like a good addition what else do we got right now <laughs> we have a bunch of stuff LC doesn't want to load I would just be guessing at banners here <laughs> Uh, the facelift looks cool. I, I, I mean, it looks different, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys feel about the update to LC? You know, our actual menu has changed. It just kind of looks a little bit different. I'm not complaining. I can get used to this. Um, and I guess everybody is scoring some lapis. So have an awesome day. Do enjoy LC. Uh, Sonic characters were pretty cool. Uh, I didn't end up getting Sonic. I'm not really too worried about it. Um... But the other two heroes I'm very happy with, and I did get all the arcs. That's really what I was wanting to get out of the whole thing. So uh, best of luck to everybody, and I will see you on the flip side, especially when there's another collab or something actually really limited. I just wanted to, you know, look at the new hero real quick. And uh, it is a good addition to the game, in my opinion. He looks like a fun hero. But you know what? Hold on, that's right. We can actually look at what his skill looks like. We should be able to. Not Kyle. There we go. So that's what I was doing. I'm going to go in there and actually sample what he's doing. All right. So double hander. Uh, he's not going to be able to proc his crazy buff here because I don't think this thing's going to be able to do damage to us at all. But let's see. Basic attack. Okay, three hit. Here's the S1. Had to run a little bit in charge. It's not chaining. Oh, it is chaining with itself. Okay. Here's an S2. Chaining with itself. S3 did not, though. Let me try that again. S2. Okay, the S2 and S3 did chain. All right, so S1, S2, we got a break on them. Now we're hitting for a lot more. Okay, 167,000. Hey, that looks cool. I dig how it looks. Yeah, the dragon wing is cool. Oh, we're at 200K. 
right? 200k. Yo, that's not bad. Um, and obviously, it could be higher if he actually got his I'm Almost Dead buff. So, dope. Looks good, too. 24 something. Let's drop that S3. 24. Yeah. What is that? Quarter of a million damage? 250,000? That was dope. Very cool addition to the game. I dig it. Let me know what you think, and I will see you later. Everybody, have an awesome day. Try to get out and do something today. It's, it's fairly nice out.